Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, this is gonna be my last fall DIY. And then that way uh, I have all those completed and then we can get ready to get started on the Christmas DIY soon. Uh, so I wanted to show y'all this project that I made here. And it is a racetrack lantern. And I know you're probably like, racetrack? <laughs> How is that a racetrack? Um, so I uh, found where there have been several people that have taken uh, these racetracks and it is made by uh, the Hot Wheels brand. And they look like this. Now this is the package that I would choose. I know that there are two styles. Uh, this is the one that I grabbed and I'll go come in closer so you can see it there. And as you see, you have the racetrack and then you have these little pieces here as well. So uh, for this one here that I made, I did paint it white and I'll, come, I'll bring it in closer so you can see it. Uh, but it's just made with two of, uh, you know, just a set of these. So there's your $1 there. And then for your base, you will need uh, some sort of like wall hanging piece. And they come in different sizes. You can choose a little small one. Uh, this one, I did choose the bigger one. Now, it did originally look like this. I did scrape this off, but now after uh, looking at it, I didn't have to really worry with doing with that. And I'll tell you why later. Uh, but there was uh, a pop-up, I guess it was like a, um, a foam piece that was attached there and I did scrape that off. But I'm not going to worry about my bottom because you're not going to see it. But I did like it. I was going to come in closer so you could see it. See how you, the rusticness of the almost like a ship lap. So I love that. Uh, that. So that was the reason why I chose this one. And then uh, the other one said like fold. And this one said laundry. So uh, just in case if you're looking for those, I just wanna let you know they're like laundry signs. And I did find it by the picture frames. So I do wanna mention that. Um, also, there was like a little hanging piece. Now it took a while for me to pry it off, but I did get it. So I do wanna mention about that as well. And, um, and then let me show you what else we need for the project as well. Uh, now I am gonna put some feet on mine. As you can see, this one, it does have some feet. Now for this one, I did use the wood craft cubes and uh, they come in a package like this. And uh, that's what that looks like. So that way, you know, you know what that is. Or, you know, you could use the tumbling back block pieces as well. I think that will work just as well. And then for my top part, let me scoot this over. Uh, I did use a knob and I was looking, hold on one second here, okay. So for this one, uh, I picked it up at Hobby Lobby and this one was $3.99, but it was half off. So uh, it came out to being what, $2, you know, for the knob. Uh, so this total project here, uh, would have been the dollar for the base, the dollar for your racetrack, the two dollars for the uh, knob. So that gives you what, two, three, four dollars. And then if you do want any sort of uh, like little legs on the bottom to raise it up, there's another dollar. So that's five dollars, you can't beat that. And then, you know, a lot of times you can, you know, you can have stuff around your house just to put on the inside. I had this uh, lamb's ear garland that was left over from a project that I did. And so uh, it fit in there perfectly, luckily. And then as you see, you know, I just put a fake candle down in there and a lot of us have those, you know, just right around our house. Let me hold this and I'll show you. There's the knob and it came exactly uh, like that. I love the way that it looks. Uh, so it looks like it's chalk painted. So I do uh, want to mention about that. So let me show you how we are going to put this project together. And 
uh, I saw recently one of my friends here on YouTube, I'm going to give her a shout out, uh, from Mimi's Mixed Bag, uh, Cindy. She had also done one of these and she be, she actually had, uh, put this out on her channel and then I commented and I said, oh, I was going to do that same DIY. So, uh, she's like, I can't wait to see yours. So, um, so, you know, we all can have different versions and, uh, if you, you know, I suggest if you are interested, go back and look at hers as well, but, uh, and hers is slightly different than mine, but, uh, yeah, so let me, uh, go ahead and get started on this project here. Uh, like I said, there was a hanging piece. I did remove that. So here is my base here. I'm going to go ahead and put my feet on now. Last time I waited and did it later. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get that out of the way now. So I'm gonna take my little cubes here. And I'm gonna grab four of them. And like I said, I mean, hey, you can paint the bottom if you wanted to. I'm not worried about it. No one's gonna see it. So it's not no big deal for me. I, I'm not worried about the bottom. You know, I, I think some sometimes some people may, you know, think, oh, well, I need to do the bottom. And that's fine if that's what you want to do. I'm not going to. So, all right. So let me go ahead and get all these on here glued. And I want to make sure that they're at the very edge of here. So they're nice and, uh, uh, you know, that way it looks a little bit nicer that it's on the very end here, so. All right, and then one more here. All right, so I did this one because I figured that uh, the white could be used, let me move it back so y'all can see it here. Um, I figured this one could be used year round. Now, I'm leaving this one orange because I'm going to turn this into a fall lantern. And uh, I don't think I mentioned this, but I did find this one. Isn't that pretty? I love sunflowers. My favorite flower. I know I've mentioned that before. This knob here at Hobby Lobby was $4.99, but it was half off, so $2.50. So, uh, and I'll show you once we get to it about how I... Uh, you see there's a piece at the bottom. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm all over the place. <laughs> um, I'll show you that I, ha I did have to remove that. All right. So let me grab a pair of scissors here. Okay. So as you see in the packaging, I'm just going to show you real quick. Let me move this over. Uh, let you, oops. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Let's go and cut this off. Okay. So as you see, you have your two tracks. Okay. That's all you need. Just the two pieces. And then you have these two pieces here as well. We don't need those. You, you can just throw them out or use them for another project. So what I did was I took my track and I folded it like this. And as you see, look, it just sits right up like that. No problem whatsoever. Uh, you don't have to glue it down, but I would suggest to glue it down so that way it doesn't try to go anywhere. So, and it's going to look just like that. Isn't that neat? So, let's go ahead and get ready to glue these pieces down. I'm going to take this one back out. And I'm just going to run glue along the bottom here. So, that way when it sits inside my tray, that it will... Uh, So it'll be a nice, good hold. Okay, so you see we have that part already. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other side as well. And like I mentioned, I did paint this one. Uh, I used spray paint at first with this one, and then I had to go in to really get down on the grooves good uh, along the insides of the track. Uh, I had to go in with some chalk paint. So I just used my Waverly chalk paint, and uh, I just uh, painted, you know, and it didn't take long. Luckily with Waverly chalk paint, 
it doesn't take any time whatsoever to uh, dry. All right, so now we got our pieces done here. And then you just pop it back down in here. See here? Oh, I just love the way it looks. But I wanted to make two of them and that way I could show y'all one uh, already already made up and then we'll just go ahead and do this one together. Okay, so now, see how easy that was? Super, super simple. And then I have my knob here. So I am going to go ahead and cut uh, this little tag off. And Okay, let's see here. Let me move something to the side here. <laughs> I'll move this one back over. Okay, so all you do is you, you know, twist it off. Real easy to do. And my other one was the same way. So I have like a little washer here that came off. And then I have this screw here. So now you see it's left with like a flat surface. So now what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and attach it to the top just like that. Oops, well you get the idea, <laughs> just like that. So let's get some glue here. And then we're just going to Put it right in the middle of that track. Now, I've also seen where some people have added a bow to the top. I, I think that's just as pretty as well. Um, there are other other things, you know, you could add to the top. I've seen uh, shower rings added. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else, like a round surface at the top added. So, I mean, you know, the sky's the limit. So however you want it, your lantern to look, uh, but uh, that's how I have mine there. And then I'll give you an idea too about how to uh, style it. So as you see, I have this one styled and uh, let me get a few things together real quick and then I'll show you how I'm gonna style this one. All right, y'all, so I was able to grab a few things from my stash. I'm just trying to give you an idea here um, of some ways, you know, that you could uh, style it. Uh, I have some greenery here that I grabbed real quick that I had on hand. So, so you could put your little greenery uh, down in here just to give you a good idea. And then, you know, you could put like, since I have the sunflowers, I set, nestled my little sunflowers down in here. I have this little uh, sunflower pitcher, so I can add that down in here. And I'll bring it in closer so you can see it. And then also, I uh, have my little sign that my aunt just gave me recently for my birthday. So I'm gonna nestle that down in here. Let's see, I know you fit. Let's see, there we go. Okay. And this just gives you a good idea, just in case, you know, uh, some of this might be too much, let's see. Um, okay, I think it'll be okay. So that way you kind of get an idea. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it around here so you can see. Let's see, I'm not too crazy about this. Let's take this out. these little sunflowers here that came in a pack from Dollar Tree as well. 
So I'm just gonna stick these down in here. I think they might be kind of cute down in here. So I'm gonna kind of tuck these down in here a little bit. Oh yeah, that's adorable. Okay, and then that way, and then I'll show you. And then we'll tuck one more here in the back. Oh yeah, that's cute. Okay, so let me put this to the side. I'm gonna turn this around so you can see it better. Well, there gives you a good idea. You know, you can, but you know, you can do it, style it however you wanna style it. So, uh, but I, I, I do like the way that looks. So I think it's real cute. I hope that you found some inspiration from this project and if you're interested that that uh, you know you can make it your own and uh, you know there's many different ways how you can uh, you know like I said you, it paint it or leave it you know the orange uh, you can uh, you know just make it your own so I think for at least under about ten dollars Depending on the supplies, you see that mine ran about, I think it was, what did I say, about $5. So, uh, I, I, I just love the way that it turned out. And, you know, you can just uh, customize it to however your liking is. Uh, but uh, I hope that you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up as well as leave me a comment. I love hearing y'all sweet comments. And uh, if you're joining for the first time, uh, welcome. I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. And as always, th y'all, thanks for watching. Bye.